Um, I'm the guitar player for the Dandy Warhols and Pete International Airport. Um, among other things. Um. Uh, my family moved to Portland in, uh, I think, 76. Yeah, I was like seven years old or, yeah, seven. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and I've 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 moved away and come back a number of times. Just keep it's a nice place to be. As soon as I um, started buying records, I'm I, I forget the name of the record store, but there was a there was a record store in the Galleria um, downtown, and I think I bought maybe my first record there, a Beach Boys record, I think. Um, no idea which one, but that's what my guitar teacher was teaching us back then with the Beach Boys song. So that's what I got. Um, and then, you know, in high school for sure, it was like come down, go to Second Avenue and Django's and uh, Singles Going Steady, whatever the little record store that was across the street from the library. I think that was my favorite. Um, it just seemed to have, it had what I wanted, and, and that's kind of how we discovered music a lot, just um, going to a record store and almost buy records because of the album cover or because of the way the band looked sometimes, you know, without hearing the music. Um, there must have been some more to it than that, because you know, it could, could have gone horribly wrong more often than it did. Um, but, you know, it was, it was a, it's probably once or twice a month um, at current. Um, it stopped being just a kind of random thing with, without just looking at album covers. Um, when I started developing, you know, I, I, or understanding music a little bit more um, and always on the quest for, you know, reading interviews and then like going, oh, that band's influenced by that record and, you know, wanting to go back and find out what they listened to or their contemporaries or other projects they played in, the bands that those other people played with, you know, it's just this, it was a, a you know, kind of a, a treasure hunt, just following things back and seeing where, where they came from or, you know, where, where they were going. Because you had, there was, n there was no way to just, you know, type into your phone what you wanted to know. You had to ask or listen or just read the backs of album covers. You know, or or read, you know, interviews with with bands. Um, listen to weird, obscure radio shows. You know, talk to the guy behind the counter. You know, it's it took a bit of effort. Um, now it's it's instantaneous, so you know you can you can find anything anywhere anytime, um, which is great, but it's kind of too easy. So therefore, I don't think it means as much, you know. Whereas when when we were kids, we we would find something, and that was became part of us, part of our identity. Probably, you know, just because I'm of the age of MTV, I think that probably had more of a reason of why I became or what wanted to be a musician. Um, but it would if MTV hadn't existed, it would have been records and going to shows for sure um, but yeah I mean I, I music I connected with it instantly you know it's always been there my parents played all sorts of music when I was growing up so um, it was always something that was around and I was interested in and they encouraged us to take lessons and different things yeah, my dad taught me my first guitar stuff, so. Yeah. 
I'm sure it's harder for them, um, but I, it, it's not dead. That's obvious. Um, because there is some, and you can order anything online, and yes, sometimes directly from the bands, and that's pretty cool for the bands. Um, but when you go into a record store, you can, like, depending if, on how it's laid out, you know, you can find other music that you can't find online, you know, or wouldn't have, there wouldn't have been the connection. So, um, and it's, it's always, you know, good to talk to people find out other other things you know what they think is cool you might like it um, it's great to be able to you know because of the whole Spotify and Apple music and all all the other things you know it's it's great to it's a great way to find music um, but that's algorithms and stuff it's not a human <laughs> saying this is good See? it was like I think the best record stores were curated, you know. That's, I think that's how you run a successful business. So, um, yeah, I mean, there were, there were stores that I would go to because of pretty much what was up behind the counter, you know, and that was, you know, or on display. It wasn't, it never, the ones I liked were never the ones that felt like a corporate anything. You know, it's like I, I never really enjoyed going to Tower Records or any of the big ones. It was always the little ones. Um, it's just more of what I was looking for. I, I think the, the vinyl resurgence is great. It's, you know, I mean, for me, the reason it's, it's working for me is because I don't buy as much music as I used to. Um, I got fed up with the whole CD thing and so I completely embraced Spotify and Apple Music when it came along, you know. Plus the moving around constantly on tour, it's nice having, you know, an iPod packed with everything. Um, but, you know, I missed the physical part of it. Um, and so now my rule is if I really listen to a record a lot on Spotify, I will go buy the vinyl, and um, it's great. You know, then I have, then I feel like I've I've done a little bit of my part for the band. <laughs> there's there's no way we're going back to we're getting rid of Spotify or, or any of the streaming device you know s services. Um, it's too convenient, and there's just no way around it. But um, the thing that vinyl, for instance, does is you have to be paying a certain amount of attention because the record's going to end. And it just makes, it makes you listen in a different way. It's not just background music or, you know, um, it becomes, you know, more of an experience, I guess. And, um, I, I know I need that. It, it has to be, you know, I, it's, it's great just putting, you know, something on random and just letting it go and, you know, not be kind of forgetting about it. But you, if you're aware, you start, you know, if you, if you were, you have to, you know, if that end of the record's coming up and, you know, you have to, you have to be a little bit more aware so you're listening to the music a little bit more you're hearing things in a different way. And um, I know that's important for, for me and for what I do. And Portland's had, has a, you know, a definite history of being a little left of center and more, more independent. So, you know, doing things a slightly more difficult way than, you know, could be done. So it makes perfect sense that because of that, but you know, it's just a theory. Um, and we've always had record stores, and they've always seemed to have done pretty well. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, but the I don't know that there's any hope for it. Um, 
because you know it's as I'm finding out now, it's like it's really hard to be creative when you have to work your ass off in another job. You know, you come home exhausted. It's like the last thing you want to do, or last. I mean, you can pick up a guitar and strum away, but like you're too tired to notice if you've done anything cool and start writing a song. You know, um, at least for the way I work. Um, so. The fact that musicians aren't getting paid, like, I mean, musicians were always the last people getting paid in the whole business, and the fact that it's gotten as bad as it is now, with the, I mean, mainly because of the streaming services and lack of lack of sales, um, that, you know, I I think the whole thing is going to suffer a bit. You know, kids kids will still make music and come up with new sh new shit, and um, that'll be great. But it's as soon as people want to have a family or something, you know, as well, you know, outside of or just you know, growing up, what happens? You know, you you get more dependence. And, um, I think a lot of the band's lifespan lifespans will will suffer because of it, and you know. A lot of musicians create incredible stuff in their later years. 